Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles right here in Mansfield, Texas. We just traded for this 1999. It's a Monaco RV and it's the La Palma model. And walking around the coach, the paint on the bottom, the dark blue is very nice and glossy. In fact, it looks so good it looks like maybe it's been redone. Some of the stripes, the clear coat is starting to fade. You can see, especially on this from the sun. It's got the uh, little canopy leaf guard over the slide. It's got a Generac generator. I believe it's under this compartment. And the hour meter only shows 103 hours, but it's a Generac V-Twin. I started it up in fact, I'll show you. It'll start up and then it shuts right off. I don't know if it's low on fuel or what. Maybe it is out of fuel because now it's not firing. But we'll get it running. The coach itself may be low and that's why. The tires have good tread. But the tires are old. And they have some, some uh, you can see some dry rotting on the sides of the, uh, those are 19 and a half inch tires. Over here you got the, all the plumbing to flush out your tanks. This is your uh, electrical cable storage. The coach has a lot, a lot of storage. It's got a backup camera. There's a light up on the top. It's got a trailer hitch. It has an awning that folds out with a metal case over the top. Lots and lots of storage. All these big compartments, they're poly lined so they won't rust or corrode. This tire's the same thing. It's got some little, you can see some little cracks in the sidewall. It seems like RV tires never wear out. They just get old. Inside, it's got kind of a light beige carpet. That couch folds out into a bed. You got three captain's chairs. They're flex steel with all the seat belts and everything you need. There's your backup camera. I couldn't get the radio to come on. Might just be a fuse. It does have leveling jacks. So you can raise and lower the front and rear of the coach. It's got a sharp color TV, cabinets all the way around. It's got speakers built into the roof and ducted heat and AC. The dining area also folds down into a bed. It's got the day-night shades. It's got a convection oven, it's stainless steel lined inside. It's real clean. It's got a three burner cooktop. It's got the Norcold dual power refrigerator freezer. It runs on electricity. It'll also run off of propane gas. Back here in the bedroom, you've got a nice, nice big shower. It's got a skylight. And the floor in here is kind of a laminate wood, which looks real nice. Some of the some of the light bulbs, like that light fixture there, you got one on, one off. This one is not coming on. It's probably just a bulb. It's got a little TV back here on the back. But we're a motorcycle dealer and we trade for all kinds of stuff. We're not really a RV dealer, other than we sell a few that we get on trade. So basically we just sell it for a good price and make it a good value. It's got 69,000 miles, and this whole section right here is a slide out. And when the RV's running down the highway, this all comes in. The carpet's in really good shape. It's very, very clean. In fact, I bet it's been replaced because it looks basically like new. The windshield looks good. It's huge. Nice big dash. <coughs> Give you another little view of the, the back of the, the RV. Even with the slide-in going down the road, 
you still got room to move around which is pretty nice you get back out and get you one more view of the outside yeah you can see the finish on these these doors is just very glossy and very shiny it really looks good but you could probably rotate a few tires around and buy a couple or if you just want to play it safe just go ahead and get a brand new set they do have lots of rubber but they are showing signs of age but thanks for looking thanks for your time this is bronco bob wishing you happy trail